One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. I won't let the crowd hold me back. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 22, King James Version. Most of us are familiar with the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment and was healed. She suffered for 12 years until the moment of healing came, based on her encounter with the Savior. We do not know her circumstances regarding her position in the crowd. Perhaps and most likely she had to fight her way through the crowd to get a small touch upon the Lord. Remember, maneuvering through a crowd is not easy, so most likely she had to struggle to even reach the Lord. So this shows us not only faith, but a determination to get to Jesus because of her faith. You see, we are surrounded by crowds today that may be a hindrance to get to Jesus. One could be a sinful crowd that we may have to fight our way out of through all the willpower in us to connect with the Lord instead of those who are bad influences. We may have to fight through a crowd of depression, hopelessness, or discouragement. But if we get a touch upon Jesus... Even these things can be run off by the peace that is in Christ. And most of all, there are crowds of doubters in Jesus being the Lord in Christ. There are many competing philosophies and false doctrines that are pulling people away from Christ. We must cast away the crowd of evil thoughts and teachings and get a touch upon Jesus so that we can be saved, made whole in a spiritual sense, because there is no salvation without him. Acts chapter 4 verse 12, John chapter 14 verse 6. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel. Romans chapter 10 verse 16. This is done by being exposed to believing and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled The Six Things That Save in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.